welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I create this just an everyday kind of glam uh, makeup look. So if you want to see how I created this then please keep watching. So I've already done my eyebrows, I've also primed my eyes and I've used my Nivea Post Shave Balm just to moisturise my face just before I start. Um, and then the next thing I'd usually do after that on an everyday basis is my foundation. But at the moment, I have been loving the Giorgio Mani Luminous Silk Foundation. Um, on an everyday basis, so for like work, I don't usually use this one. I would use a Clinique one um, just because this is quite pricey. I also mix in a bit of this Maybelline darker one just because when I've got a tan on, it is quite light. So once I've got the foundation on the back of my hand, I will just blend that all in with a beauty blender. Once I have um, blended all of that in, I just um, go in with my Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. I like this one, it's quite light. Um, this is in the shade 10. Put this under my eyes. And then I'll go with my Beauty Blender again and I'll just blend that all in. Mercier translucent powder. Um, I just get a bit in the lid, put some on the beauty blender. Okay, so once I've just put some powder under my eyes, um, I'm just gonna pop some on my eyelids. Um, I, I've been using this at the moment, but I'm not really sure. It's quite dark. I used to have the shade F12 or F13. It's um. A revolution foundation stick but i just use it in a darker color um but i couldn't find the 12 or 13 anywhere so i went for 14. this one is too dark and it can look a bit like muddy but i just get a little bit on this real techniques brush um i just dab it a few times and then literally got the mooniest face in the world like it's just a big circle i wish i was one of those people that had like a proper snatch jawline <laughs> using the same laura mercier powder i will just go in and set the rest of my face I have been loving the Give Me Some by MAC. Um, and then sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It depends. I just get a bit of powder. bones probably not no um so i'll just leave that on for a minute um so the next thing i do is my eyes i keep it quite basic to be honest i've got the 39a morphe palette it's disgusting it's really dirty so i tend to go in with the big transition colors these ones here so i'm probably going to go in with this one this one here and then i'm just going to pop it in the crease Um, and then I've got a smaller brush, this is a Morphe brush as well, I think. Yeah, so this one. And I'm going to go in with this colour here. Next thing 
I do is I do go with blush. I've only just really got into blush, so I bought quite a cheap one. It's just a collection one. Um, it's quite pink, but obviously it's not very, it's not too pigmented. been loving this it's a mini one it's the Ofra Rodeo Drive Rodeo Drive um highlighter and I have nearly run out as you can see that's sad on my brush and pop it on my cheekbones I love highlighter so like I'll probably go a bit overboard I put it above my brows on my forehead I like to put it down my nose and Highlight on the end of my nose is my absolute favourite. On my cupid, under my brows. In a corner. I did get the Better Than Sex, which everyone raves about so much. I got a mini one just to see what it was like. I have nearly run out now, but I didn't think it was like amazing. Um, I didn't dislike it, but I didn't think like, wow, like I didn't think it was any different from like The Lash Sensation by Maybelline, really. I find it so hard about a mirror. I usually, I've got mirrored wardrobes and I literally sit on the floor in front of my mirror to do my makeup. Um, and at the moment I'm using this, this tiny one. <laughs> I will put another layer of mascara on, but usually I just get, I've got this um, eyeliner, black eyeliner. I just try and put like a little bit on my lash line. So I'm gonna go with another layer of mascara. And then I'm gonna get, this is a Revolution F. 102 brush. I'm gonna put a bit of the eyeshadows, the two that I used on the top. I'm just gonna mix between the two um, and just put a little bit underneath my lash, lower lash line. My lips are getting so dry at the moment from the weather, I think. The last thing that I do is my lips. To be honest, I don't, if I'm just going to work, I won't do my lips, but on the weekend I will. I've recently been loving the MAC strip down liner but the thing is I really feel like I don't suit like lipstick so like, I won't really put a lipstick on I'll just put my liner on I'll smudge it and then I'll put just like a lip balm on so I'm just going to go in with my MAC lip liner I'm just going to bring the uh, mirror a bit closer I do overline my lips a little bit I usually honestly just go in with a lip balm and just make sure it's all evenly on my lips. So that's what I usually do for my everyday kind of weekend makeup look. Um, I probably would go ahead and add lashes if I wanted to make it a bit more glam. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please, please, please go down below and give it a big thumbs up. Um, click the subscribe button. I am going to be doing more videos, um, so look out for them. But yeah. Thanks for watching guys.